Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are we doing? Man, Antonelli here. And opening day is here. And well, now it's gone. But we're going to look back at everything that happened on opening day. I'm super pumped baseball's back. Hopefully you are too. I want to make this a series. It'd be great to have this every day. I'm calling it half a cup of coffee. Why? Well, usually people will say, you know, people that spent a little bit of time in the big leagues, they'll say, hey, I had a cup of coffee in the big leagues. Well, I wasn't there to finish my entire cup, okay? So I had a half a cup of coffee, okay? If you don't like my title, give me a new one. But that's what I'm going with right now. Okay, so we're going to break down all the games from yesterday. We're just going to look at the scores first, see what stands out. And then I picked about 10 highlights, 10 things that I thought were some of the best things that happened during open day. We're going to look at them. We're going to talk about them and discuss. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's quickly look at the scores here from yesterday's game. We get the Blue Jays beating the Yankees 3-2. to two. Blue Jays I know it's just the first game of the year, but Blue Jays are talented this year. Then we've got a real barn burner over here. Indians and Tigers, close one. Indians lose 3-2. to two. Congratulations, the Tigers have their one win of the season. Twins and Brewers, we've got the Brewers beating the Twins 6-5. to five. We've got the Pirates, the Pirates got a win. Beat the Cubs 5-3. to three. We got the Phillies, walk-off win over the Braves 3-2. to two. The Rockies beat the Dodgers. All kinds of craziness happening here on opening day. 8-5. to five. We got the Padres just inching out the D-backs. 8-7. to seven. Got the Cardinals roughing up the Reds. 11-6. Then we've got the Royals beating the Rangers. 14-10. to 10. Another barn burner. A lot of offense in that game. A good amount of errors, too. We got the opposite over here. We got the Rays <laughs> winning 1-0 over the Marlins. That's a Rays game if I've ever seen one. Then we've got the Angels beating the White Sox. Four to three. The A's getting beat up by the Astros eight to one. We've got the Giants losing to the Mariners eight to seven. And then we had the Red Sox and Orioles rained out. And the Mets and Nationals were COVID out. Not a good way to start the season. All right, so let's start off with the craziest play of the day. We've got Dodgers, Rockies. We've got the third inning here. Bellinger's up. He hits this ball to left field, crushes it. People in Colorado haven't seen this since video game Matt. Tapia jumps up, ball goes off his glove and over the fence for a home run. Here's the problem. Turner thought the ball was caught. He starts returning the first base. Bellinger thinks it's a homer. He keeps running. They pass each other. So what happens? Well, we've got an RBI single. So Bellinger gets a single. Turner gets to score because it was a home run. But because Bellinger passed Turner, he can't advance any further than first base and he has to go sit down. Wacky play. You do not see this play very often at all. I've actually seen this play. I saw Chad Huffman do this. He actually hit a grand slam that was taken away in AAA. He hits a grand slam. Everybody tagged up because it was a high deep fly ball to left field. He just keeps running. The ball goes over the fence. He gets three RBI, I believe, and a single. That stinks. They still got three RBI. I guess that's okay, I guess. Now, nothing says April baseball in Detroit like a little bit of snow. We've got some fans in the stands. They probably wish that they weren't allowed to come to the game today. And we've got Miggy, 100-year-old Miggy, going deep to right field. You can't even see the ball. You have no idea where it lands. Miggy has no clue, so he's going to slide into second just in case. Then he realizes, what the hell happened? Oh, it's a home run. It looked like a snowflake. I've played in a snow game like this before. My first game of the year in college my junior year, same exact thing. And I'll tell you what, it is difficult to hit a white baseball in white snow. Some people will say, Matt, you couldn't hit baseball in no snow. That's true, but not that year. I raked that year, okay? But Detroit, with a win, congrats. Hopefully they get another one. Now here's Fernando Tatis Jr. doing Fernando Tatis Jr. type things. They try to back pick him here at first base. And he's a magician. He slides in, he takes his hand away, he brings it over the glove. It might look like he's almost out there, yeah, but they challenge this and it comes back safe anyway. So Fernando basically can do anything he wants on a baseball field. Now we've got the D-backs. D-backs end up losing anyways, but they hit four homers. In the fifth inning, unbelievable. They knock you Darvish out. They're getting crushed, but they come back in this inning. Arizona thinks they're going to win. They end up still losing, but they knock out Darvish. And uh, four home runs in an inning. That does not happen 
very often. Here we got Braves, Phillies, and we got a walk-off win. We had a couple of walk-off wins. I'm going to throw this one in here. I won't throw them all in, but we've got a walk-off win. Let's see everyone get excited. Baseball's back. Gene Segura's going to run away. He's going to pretend he's an airplane or something. Shane Bieber, last year's Cy Young Award winner in the AL. 12 strikeouts in six innings. Still didn't matter. Still lost. But this guy's nasty, so I'm going to throw him up here. How about this homer right here? Byron Buxton. 456 feet. This ball's absolutely crushed. Breaks the back of the stadium. Buxton is an athletic freak. The guy's one of the fastest guys in the league, and he can obviously hit a baseball very, very far. Also in the Braves-Phillies game, we got a great catch here by D.D. Gregorius. Over the shoulder, running, catch, Willie Mays style. And we've got another walk-off. This time, Giants-Mariners. This is in rather boring fashion. Bases loaded. Ball four. And we've got the walk-off walk for the win. A little tough to get excited here. They're going to try to as best as they can. Mariners probably won't win a ton of games this year. And then what do you know? Kung Fu Panda's still in the league. He gets a pinch hit homer right here to tie the game. Two to two. Phillies ended up winning on a walk-off anyway. But congrats, Panda. I didn't even know he was still in the league. And I'll tell you what. I got to know Pablo Sandoval because I played against him a lot. We're like, I think we're about the same age. Maybe we played each other coming up through the minors. I've told this story once before. My highlight of knowing Pablo Sandoval is playing him in single A. I got to first base after, I don't know why, every time I played him, he was on the San Jose Giants back then. Every time I played him, I had like four hits in every single game. And after doing it for like eight games in a row, I got to first and Pablo said, you're the greatest hitter I've ever seen. I said, thank you, Pablo. And uh, I, maybe my career is the curse of Pablo Sandoval because pretty much after he said that, I stunk. Okay, and he went on to have... Well, he's been in the big leagues for a long time. He's made a lot of money. Um, he stole some of it, but that's okay. You got to get it how you can get it. And then the last one here, we got Buster Posey going deep. First at bat in forever since, what, 2019? Goes big fly. And I'm going to say this, guys. I saw Buster Posey as a freshman at Florida State. I was a junior at Wake Forest. And he came in and I watched him play for about eight minutes and I said, this guy right here is a stud. He was actually a shortstop and a closer for Florida State his freshman year. And then they moved him to catcher his sophomore year. Took me eight minutes, make me a scout. Anyone looking for a scout in the big leagues, I'll be your man. I'll pick you out the next Buster Posey, okay? So that's what we got in opening day. I know I missed some things, but I can't include everything. This can't be a seven hour show, all right? So let me know. Any suggestions that you want, let me know if you like this, if you'd like me to continue to do it. it. Took a little bit of work. I had to look up every single game and see what happened, but that's okay. I'm willing to do it. You know why? Because I love baseball. Hopefully you love it too. That's all we've got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills, we break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.